on behalf of Century 21 Freedom Group, I congratulate you on making this amazing decision to join this business. This is going to be the first training you'll be receiving in this business. This training will set you on the pathway for success in our business. 12 months from today, you'll be happy you made this particular decision to join our business. We're going to work with you to put together a business plan that can give you the required income you seek in our business over the next 12 months to 24 months. If you join us, if you work with us, if you dedicate time to your business, we will help you grow an amazing business over the next 24 months. So once again, congratulations for making this all important decision. Stay tuned as we work with you, as we train you and show you what you need to know to help you grow such an amazing business. The first thing we need to do with you is to set your expectations right. So we're going to explain to you what you need to know. We want to set your expectations so that you know the where's, the where's, the how's, the what, and the which in our business. A lot of people come into our business with a wrong expectation, with flawed expectation. What we want to do right now is to set those expectations right so that you know exactly what to get from our business and what our responsibility and your responsibility is in the business to help you succeed massively. If you succeed in this business, it's going to be you who created that success. Not C21FG, not us. If you fail in this business, it's going to be you that created the failure, not C21FG, not us. You alone is going to be the difference between success and failure in our business. You need to realize that success is only attained after failures. Success is a dish that is served at the finish line and not anywhere in between. If you want to succeed in our business, you must take serious every single thing you hear in this business. We are going to provide you with the roadmap. We are going to show you the pathway for success in the business. We are going to give you the systems and the tools you require for success in the business. We are going to introduce you to the structure and the support system you need to make this an amazing business. But you know, we can only give this to you, you are the one that will work it out yourselves. Now, there will be ups and downs in this business. We will know you are experiencing your downs when we call you and you stop picking our calls. When we start hearing excuses from you. Excuses like my great grandfather's goldfish died. And that was a very tragic event. And because of that, I cannot come for training. When we start getting these kind of excuses from you, we will know that you are experiencing the bad times in the business. But remember, every business in the world has its good days and its bad days. Our business, likewise, has its good days and its bad days. But we want to ask you one question. How would you like us to react when you are experiencing your low days? When you are experiencing those bad days, those difficult days, how would you want us to react? How would you want us to handle that? Would you want us to leave you alone? Not to disturb you? Because you know we cannot come to your house to pull you away. Or would you want us to be persistent, right? To remind you of your reason for joining this decision and to talk to you and help you come back to the pathway to success in our business. How would you like us to react? If you want us to continue to persist, to work with you, even when you are experiencing those low days, please tell the person that signed you up into this business, your sponsor, and he will communicate that information appropriately to the functional uplines so that when these times come, they can come and support you, give you a, lend, a, a helping hand to help you come back to the track to build an amazing business. Because you see, in this business, for us to be, su to be successful, we need to work as a team. Next, we'll be looking at the cardinal structure of C21FG, Century 21 Freedom Group. Our business lies on three basic cardinal structures, and we don't toy with these structures no matter what is happening. The first is this, commend your business to God. God is in charge of our lives. God is in charge of our businesses. If you want to run this business and keep God out of the business, you'll be running your business on a flawed foundation, and that business is doomed to fail. So, however you do it, bring God into the system. Let God be the person, that the one, the person that controls your business, that dictates your success in your business. Commend your business to God and God will bless your business in an awesome way. So, the cardinal structure number one, commend your business to God. Cardinal structure number two, you must be willing to be trained. If you are not willing to be trained in this business, you are not ready to make money. 
Our business is designed for success, but that success can only be attained if you are trained. So the more trained people you have in your team, the more successful a team you will have. The third cardinal structure, you must be willing to train others. So as you acquire this training, you must be willing to dish out this training to people in your team. Even if it is the first training you just acquired a day after joining the business, be ready to give out that training to somebody you signed up the day after. Because if you are not ready to train others, you are not ready to build an amazing business. Our business is a business of trainers. The more trainers you have in your business, the more successful a business you're going to have. Your dream is powerful. If you are in this business without a dream, you need to go back and rediscover the reason why you joined the business. So what is your why? What is the reason why you joined the business? If your why is not powerful enough, if your reason for joining this business is not powerful enough, you will be swayed, right? You're going to be swayed and pushed around by any Tom, Dick or Harry that comes your way. By any wind that blows is going to push you around because your dream is not big enough. Now let's take a look at this example. If I take a two meters thick plank, right? The plank is two meters thick and the plank is two meters wide. And I put this plank on the ground and I ask you to walk across this plank, right? And the length of the plank is, let's say, um, 30 meters. I ask you to walk across this two meters thick, two meters wide plank that is 30 meters long. And I'm going to give you 20,000 Naira. Will you do it? The plank is on the ground. Most probably you will, right? Yes, that's a quick 20,000 Naira. But if I take this same plank, 2 meters thick, 2 meters wide, 30 meters long, and I put it on top of two buildings, each of them 25 stories high, from one end of the building to the other end of the building, I place this wood, right, connecting the two buildings from the roof. And I ask you, walk over this plank, and I will give you 50,000 Naira, 100,000 Naira. Will you walk across this plank? The answer is most probably not. You will not. Why? Because the price is not worth the risk. So because of that, you will not cross that plank. But as we are talking, if you see your child on the opposite building and you see that that building is on fire and as the fire leaks upwards very fast, trying to consume your child, your child cries out to you, Daddy, 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 I am about being born, dead, born to death. What will you do? Would you cross that plank to rescue your child? I guess you will. You will cross that plank immediately, pick up the boy, cross back to where you were standing before 20,000 20, Naira or not. You don't give a damn about that. But the thing is this, you were able to go rescue your child because you really felt at that point in time that that was something really worth crossing the bridge for. There was no 20,000 Naira, right? But then the desire to cross and save your child was so overwhelming that you never even knew when you crossed. All you could remember is that your child was there and right now your child is no longer there because you've brought him back to where you are standing. Your dream must be big enough. If your dream is not big enough, as you face the turbulence of business, especially because most people are used to the bosom of mother job, most people are not used to being entrepreneurs. When you begin to face the turbulence of business, you will abandon the business because your dreams was not big enough. If your dream is big enough, if your dream is powerful enough, if your dream is compelling enough, no matter what is happening, you will keep running this business because you know that your dream is bigger than the obstacles you face in the business. So if you don't have a really big dream, go and write a really big dream down. A dream is necessary and your dream should be big. After all, after all, dreams are free. Become a professional. Only professionals get paid in every endeavor in life. So why not become a professional? Amateur boxers don't get paid. Amateur footballers don't get paid. The only way you can get paid massively in our business is to become a professional. And as Eric Wally says, decide to become a network marketing professional. Decide to go pro because it's a stone cold fact that we have a better way of making money. So let's go tell the world. And how do you become a professional in this business? It is said that in every subject matter in the world only five books separates you from becoming the top one percent knowledge level in that subject matter so you want to get into the top one percent knowledge level in every subject matter on earth you need to read five books because 99 percent of people will not read five books on any particular subject matter matter so google information on network marketing read any book you can lay your hand on network marketing attend every single presentation and training 
you should attend you can attend don't wait until you have a guest in the hall before you attend the presentation keep attending presentations because the more presentations you attend the better you get the better you get the more you are trained and the more you are trained the more money you make so be sure that you keep attending our presentations to become a professional in our business the power of discipline discipline is the bridge between goals and, and accomplishments discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments that comes from a quote from jim Rohn. now listen carefully if you want to run a successful business you must be disciplined you must exercise exercise a very high amount of discipline very high levels of discipline if you're not disciplined in our business you cannot find success why do you need to be disciplined most people are familiar with mother job even though mother job is a very bad mother mother job is a familiar mother so you see that when a lot of people come into this business as entrepreneurs and begin to face a lot of challenges they begin to become extremely indisciplined in the business and the lack of discipline in the business begins to result in failure in the business discipline is doing the things you said you were going to do whether you're in the mood to do them or not very little things are required for you to grow this business amazingly but these things requires consistency requires discipline over time for you to be able to accomplish so if you're not consistently doing the right thing you cannot build an amazing business your greatest enemy in our business right is fear of rejection and lack of consistency that is the greatest enemy by any standard in our business lack of consistency will stop you from being disciplined enough to do those simple things that lead to success i'll give you an example the pareto principle says that 80 percent of the effort will give you 20 percent of the results and 20 percent of the efforts will give you 80 percent of the results that in any establishment 80% of the income of that establishment is being brought in by 20% of the marketing force. Whereas the remaining 20% of the income of that establishment is being brought in by 80% of the marketing force. Coming to our business, how does this apply? If you want to build an amazing business and you decide to expose to your business just five people every single day, you send them a WhatsApp chat message to just five people every single day. Five people is such a small number to send to people every day. But ladies and gentlemen, if you send five WhatsApp chat messages to people every day, in a space of one month, you would have sent 150 WhatsApp chat messages to people in your team. And in a space of 12 months, you would have sent these messages to 1,825 people. Now think of it. That is an amazing business. You sent out WhatsApp chats to 1,825 people in a space of 12 months. So within a period of 12 months, you have successfully communicated with 1,825 people by sending them WhatsApp chat messages. Now listen carefully. The Pareto Principle says 80% of the people will give you 20% of the results. What that tells me now is this. If you send out these messages to people every day, five people every day, within a space of one year, you would have sent these messages to 1,825 people. Now, 20% of them are going to join your business. 20% of 1,825 is 365 people joining your business. Now, that is by far more than almost what anybody does in the industry alone. 365 people is such a huge number. But you didn't feel the impact of bringing in 365 people because you brought in, you sent out five WhatsApp chat, mes chat messages every day over a period of 365 days. But you know what? It took dis discipline and consistency to do that very little stuff day in, day out, day in, day out until you got the results you are looking for. A man without discipline and consistency will never be able to do such a job and cannot attain the results we are talking about now that is being on the very high side 
if you are able to send one whatsapp chat message every day that will translate to 365 whatsapp chat messages in a period of a year that is in 365 days you would have sent 365 whatsapp chat messages if you do that 20 percent of 365 is 73 you sponsored 73 people by showing this business to one person every day through our whatsapp portal inviting them for us to show them the business and over a period of a year you have shown this to 300 365 people and 73 of them are going to join your business this is also by far more than the best guys in our business have even attempted to do so you can see that with consistency on your part you can grow an amazing business that will benefit you right so success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in day out day in day out over a period of time remember without commitment you can never start but without consistency you can never finish take charge of your business take charge of your business this is your business the money enters your bank account and not the bank account of any other person you are the one that will determine how much is going to enter your bank account based on the kind of activity you want to give to your business you are the one that has to run your business and nobody else if you look at your business as your uplines business if you look at your business as if you are doing your upline a favor if you do look at your business as something you will only do if your upline is around you don't have a business and for so many people they hope for that one day when they're going to sign up that momentous guy that will change their business forever if you want the momentous guy that will change your business forever you should be the momentous person you should be the one to take your business to the next level and not hope and look for a downline that will come take your business to the next level because that person does not exist if you want that person in your team you should be that particular person so if you are hoping i just need to bust your bubble a little hope is not a business strategy write that down hope is not a business strategy there are strategies and tools we have put in place to help you grow an amazing business and hope is not one of them don't rely on hope rely on the fact that you are taking charge of your business take charge of your business grow an amazing business whether your upline is there or not you might invite your upline to come run the presentation for you and somewhere along the line he might get caught up in traffic or something holds him down right does that mean your, your your meeting will not hold no your meeting should hold that means that you need to be competent as fast as possible so that you can take charge of your business as fast as possible so my advice to you take charge of your business from today assume you have no upline and then you will build an amazing business keep your prospecting funnel full in this business your mouth is your shop if you are not talking about this business you are not in business if nobody knows you are in business you are not in business keep your prospecting funnel full when you get a funnel and you pour water from the top of the funnel a lot of water is poured into the top of the funnel but very little water comes from the bottom of the towel the funnel if you don't pour water into the funnel no water comes out from the bottom of the funnel the more water you pour in the more the first retreat the water comes out of the bottom of the funnel what that means is this the only problem we expect you to have in this business which i call a very beautiful problem is having so many people to talk to and not enough time to talk to them it's better to have this problem than to have a lot of time on your hands with nobody to talk to some of us begin to get apprehensive in our business because we have nobody to talk to we are not prospecting enough we are not bringing a lot of people to come and take a look at what we are doing and because of that we get three people to see our business and we spend the next six months killing them murdering them destroying their lives by pestering them and trying to squeeze out registration from their neck by so doing these people block you and then you join the group of people that we call the no friends left group right because you have virtually chased everybody away from you because you have strangled them you want to strangle them into joining your business that is wrong pressure tactics does not work in our business but if you have a hundred two hundred three hundred people that are taking a look, look at your business you will see that if one person tells you he's not interested you're not bothered you move on to the next person if he says he's not interested you're not bothered you move on to the next person because you have a whole lot of people who are taking a look at your business so at all points in time at all points in time your prospecting funnel must be full 
a lot of people must be taking a look at your business the more people that are taking a look at your business the more people are joining your business the more money you make so advice for you is keep your prospecting funnel full now this brings us to one of the most amazing parts of our business one of the most amazing ways we can grow our business and we'll call that the business brand launch you must launch your business so as a leader of your own business who must you fearlessly become will you become that person that is not ready to go out and launch his business will you be will you become that person that is a coward that is not ready to go out there and get his business working will you become that person that is looking for every excuse to blame his upline who will you fearlessly become in this business one of the first things you need to do is to run your business launch so you need to contact your upline fix a date and time and then your friends you need to invite your friends to come sit down so that you can show them your business if your friends don't know you're in business you are not in business it is very probable that you will be there one day and somebody will come in and sign up your own wife in your presence because your wife does not know you are in business so organize your business launch invite all your friends to come for your business launch and then contact one of our leaders to come take a look at i mean to come help you run that particular business launch you mustn't invite everybody at once you can invite between five to ten people they come sit down let the house not be too full right so that people can concentrate and then show them your business in your business launch you do not provide entertainment i repeat again you do not provide entertainment because entertainment does not duplicate when you prepare buffet somebody comes take i mean it's um, fried rice and chicken um pandedian with banga soup and the rest of them and after doing that he's not even able to concentrate in the first place secondly he's telling himself if i join this man in this business i have to do this i have to make pandedian with banga soup and this man does not know how to does not have the kind of cash flow to do that and because of that he doesn't join the business for something as small as that because it does not duplicate so we do not do entertainment in our business launch if you must do entertainment use the my choco and the um coffee in your product pack if you must provide chewables provide biscuits simple biscuits nothing more than two three hundred naira put them on a saucer and offer it to people to take do not go all out to start cooking buying stuff to do your business launch it does not duplicate we will come down there see to people show them the business and some of them are going to join you not all will join but let's assume out of your business launch two people join your business now there are three people in your team you and the other and the two the next week we are doing a business launch for each of those two two people join each of them after their business launch so we now have four at that level two that joined you directly and you making a total of seven people at the next level we're going to get eight people join your business after that we're going to get 16 people join your business after that we're going to get 32 people join your business and week in week out we continue to do business launch and your team begins to grow and if you learn to become a leader very fast you can also begin to engage in a business launch for your team and your team even begins to grow much faster are you with me so do your business launch this is one of the core ways we do the business and never hesitate to show somebody the plan how money is made in your business never hesitate to do that right now in our team we don't advise you to go out there and start showing people the plan on your own we advise you to bring them into our meeting settings let us show them the plan professionally we are not in this business to convince anybody our job is to show people the business as precise and as clear as possible and we can do a better job at showing people this business than you possibly can for now so let us do our job your job should be based on just invitations as you will see when we discuss how to do the business we're going to show you exactly what you need to do right but in this case ensure that you show your plan your business your, you organize your business launch and let us come there show your plans to your friends show the business plan to your friends use tools to build your business use the tools to build your business do not be the tools use the tools there's a difference between both of them people who don't use the tools given to them only injure themselves 
we have design tools to help you build an amazing business we have the website we have the the eligibility link we have our presentation dvd we have our presentation video on youtube we have um, um our project office we have a whole lot of tools we have put together learn to use the tools and use them to your benefit to grow an amazing business the tools are designed to take the talk away from your mouth you should not be the one doing the talking eric what he said if your mouth is moving your finger should be pointing at something are you with me so use the tools let the tools be the ones to do the talking let the tools be the one to show your friends the business because the tools can do a much better job than you and by the way your mouth does not duplicate the tools do so if you sign up somebody to your business today you and the man is able to recruit five people you might not be able to go to the five houses to do a business presentation the next day but the presentation video can do that to five people to the, in the five homes the very next day and 25 homes that follow, follow after that and 125 homes that follow after that so let our tools do your business for you use the tools do not be the tools be a good intern an intern is a student be ever willing to learn be ever ready to learn we understand you're coming into this business with a phd we understand you're a doctor we understand you are so vast in sales we respect you for that but sir in this business we are the authority we know how it works we know that the intelligence does not count in this business what counts is duplication let us show you a duplicating way that works copy it and reproduce it and your team will copy from you and reproduce it and their team will copy from them and reproduce it and you provide and you i mean you will grow a team of amazing people an amazing business where people copy a duplicating system and implement but if you come into this business and they're trying to show how smart you are you are how intelligent you are and you let your skills be the deciding factor that brings tends to sign people up in your business then you have a very flawed business i will explain why if you are very very smart and people respect you because of that and because of that you were able to recruit 50 people to join your business and they join because you're a very smart person you were able to convince them based on your smartness to join the business they join you can your friends boast to be as smart as you are the answer might most probably be no what that means is this you have five friends 50 friends who are not as smart as you and because they're not as smart as you they wouldn't get your results and because they did not get your results they will die off the very next month and what that means is that your business dies from the bottom up the business of people who rely on how smart they are always dies from the bottom up because these people are not duplicating so be a good intent let us teach you a duplicating way that works reproduce this duplicating way and you will grow an amazing business expose yourself to your team this business is a teamwork it's not a solo job if you try to do this business on your own without a team you will not succeed right your team is there to ensure that you become successful now what if you need you need to have a presentation in your house and the team leader who is supposed to come run the presentation for you is not feeling fine or something happens that holds him back what happened will your presentation still hold if the team does not know you how can you become successful if the team does not know you how can somebody help you when you are not when the person that was to do that initially is not available you need to expose yourself to the team so that people will know you and people will come to their rescue to your rescue sorry as you demand it expose yourself to the team together everyone achieves more create time to study the business this is a business that you need to study create time to study the business a business that pays you a hundred and fifty three thousand six hundred naira every single day is something you need to create time for most of us create time for our jobs that pay us peanuts you don't create time to study this business that can give you financial freedom if you are not reading books about this business if you are not reading journals if you are not um, um browsing the internet if you're not watching dvds if you're not watching videos you are not studying the business create time to study the house of the business study how this business works study how our tools work how our system works if you don't study them you will grow a flawed business also you must be willing to train others like we have told you at the beginning of the business so as you study this business you must be willing to impact this training you are generating into people in your team one-on-one -on -one, two on one or in group settings however it is you need to do it you need to be ready to train others and get them to become very successful in our business 
you must be ready to make a difference in the lives of people by training them to become successful and own their lives you must be ready to help people and not use them you don't see people as tools to make you successful rather you should help them to become successful people are not tools in every activity of yours in this business ensure the activity is geared towards helping somebody become successful if that activity is geared towards helping you make money you will fail if you put money in front of you you cannot build a network if you put building the network in front of you money will naturally take its place in your business so help people become successful you must train leaders people who are going to be professionals like you now the thing about these people is this they are going to emerge on their own you cannot squeeze out professionalism from somebody people will make themselves available for you to train them when they make themselves available train them ensure that they get the best of training from you and from your uplines and from our team so that they become financially free in two to four years are you with me you need to make sure that this is done it's a necessary step for growing an amazing business right now if your dream and your desire is not to help a group of people become financially free through your trainings then you are building your business on a wrong premise you must ask yourself today how many people am i willing to help become millionaires if you are not ready to help you become, become millionaires then you are not ready to build the business so make that a target i'm going to produce five millionaires within the next 12 months and work towards producing five millionaires within the next 12 months what that means is that you automatically become a millionaire within a period of six months or thereabout that is the kind of thinking that you should have in our business now there are recommended books for you to read these books are very very important if you read these books you will definitely become massively successful the first book you need to read is your first year in network marketing how to overcome your fears experience success and achieve your dreams a very fantastic book by mark yanel you need to read your first year in network marketing the second book i recommend for you to read is go pro by eric worry i told you become a professional right so read go pro by eric worry seven steps to becoming a network marketing professional and that business will change your life the third book you need to read is the compound effect by darren hardy the compound effect tends to tell you how little effort in key areas of your life can lead to amazing areas amazing results over a period of time in your life right so over a long period of time little things you do consistently will produce massive results for you you will see that concept in the um, compound effect that is the book you must read the next book you must read is prospecting rules by ross mcneil prospecting rules shows you how to talk to people the do's and don'ts in talking to people read that book a very amazing book and finally read the business of the 21st century by robert kiyosaki this particular business teaches you about the industry of network marketing and how powerful the system is how powerful the industry is if you read these five books like i said five books will make you a professional in any um, endeavor you find yourself these five books will, will ensure that you become an amazingly successful person in this business now it's not about creating time to study the business and stopping there you also need to create time to do the business you need to create time to do the business if you start doing the business then you start reproducing what you've um, what you've learned by by learning the business you start doing it you produce an amazing business that is going to change your life use the c21 fg system our system is proven to work our system works every day works so well every day so use the system to get your business running on fast gear are you with me we have a number of tools that are there for you to use we have the questionnaires we have the eligibility link we have the presentation video on youtube we have the presentation dvd we have our website we have our project office you have your uplines every of these i just mentioned are tools you need to use right to grow an amazing business use the tools excuses don't work this is a very powerful one excuses don't work whatever you need to do get it done do not defy it right my great grandfather's goldfish died um i developed cardiovascular failure two weeks ago and i died early this morning all these are unnecessary excuses excuses keep you broke they don't work never expect excuses from yourself never expect excuses from your teammates never take excuses from yourselves never take excuses from your teammates never make excuses for yourself never accept excuses from your teammates this is rule number one in our business 
Never accept excuses from yourself and never accept, accept excuses from your teammates. Never make excuses for yourself and never let your teammates make excuses. Excuses don't work. Excuses keeps you broke. Get the job done. Get the job done today. Attend your meetings without let up. Attend your trainings without let up. And you become very, very good enough to run an amazing business and build massive cash flow. Expect rejection from ignorant people. Expect rejection from ignorant people. But expect rejection. But even more, expect to overcome the rejection strongly. Expect strongly to overcome every rejection that comes your way. Because our business is a people's business. You are trying to sell something that people don't ordinary, ordinarily sell. Right? Now, the man who comes to sell a TV to you is actually selling a TV to you. If you tell him you don't need a TV, he doesn't feel so bad. But in our business, we don't sell physical things. We sell your dream. Your dream is what we're going to sell to you. Now, imagine we are selling something to you that originates from you. Your dream came from you and we are selling it to you. You can decide to abandon that dream and nothing will happen. And because you are not seeing your dream clearly as we are trying to sell it to you, someone might reject you. And when somebody rejects you, all I need you to do is to feel sorry for that individual. Feel really, really sorry for that individual because that person did not reject you. The person rejected an opportunity to make his dream a reality. Our business can give that man 153,600 naira every day. But in ignorance, he rejected what we were telling them. He rejected a chance to achieve his dream. It's like you're, an, you're in an aircraft and you meet the, the aircraft hostess comes to you and tells you coffee or tea. And you said, I don't want coffee, I don't want tea. She goes over to the next person. I don't want coffee, I don't want tea. She moves over to the next person. I don't want coffee. She moves over to the next person. I don't want. Does she run to the back of the plane to cry? No. If at the end nobody wants the coffee or tea, she, go back, she goes back to the back of the plane and takes a very nice cup of coffee, right? And takes as much trouble as she can. And she relaxes herself. She doesn't cry because she was just doing her job. That is the mindset you should have in our business. Never take rejection personal. Don't run under the bed and start crying like a dejected teenager who has been jilted. Don't do that. Face rejection, overcome it, and step forward. Have a great attitude. Attitude is everything. 10% of anything that you go through is dependent on what happens to you. The remaining 90% is dependent on how you handle that thing that happened to you. If somebody decides to come and insult you, and you decide to take the insult personal and begin to fight and struggle with the person, that is because that is the attitude you put forward. But if somebody decides to insult you, and you decide to just smile, bless the person and walk away, that is an amazing attitude that gives you an amazing day. Do you understand? So have a great attitude in our business. Attitude is everything. In our business, a great attitude is determined, is defined as determination and commitment. Tell yourself, I will be here 12 months from today. I will be here a year from today doing this business no matter what is pushed to me. No matter how bad I am rejected, no matter the problems I face in the business, I will be here doing the business. That is an amazing attitude. It gives you the capacity to, to keep moving even when things are very, very bad. Have a great attitude and you will massively succeed in this business. Your job is serious. Yes, we understand that. So is this business. So many people take their jobs seriously. These jobs that pay them peanuts, they take them seriously. But they don't take this business that can give them financial freedom serious enough. We understand that your job is serious. We know that you don't need to quit your job. You give your job eight hours every day. At least give this business one hour after your jobs. And this business will pay you ten times what your job can pay you. Or more. Your job is serious, yes. So is this business. Give this business the time it requires. And this business will pay you beyond your imagination. Right? It pays you so well that you eventually leave that job and you begin to focus on the business. What you need, ladies and gentlemen, is work. A job is just a unit of measurement. The work can be a job, it can be a business. The work is what puts food on the table. What you need is work. So as your job is serious, keep this business serious too. Because this business can give you what you cannot get from the job. Despite the fact that your job is designed to keep you poor, this business is designed to ensure that you become financially free. 
key into the project of the group if you decide to run another group you decide to run a flawed business on your own if you decide to run another project you decide to run a flawed business why reinvent the wheel when we have taken time to build a system that will help you become massively successful c21fg has a team of thinkers the cream de la cream of the network marketing industry in nigeria are in our business group thinkers who have built an amazing system around the own your life campaign all you need to do is to plug into the own your life campaign and let this campaign work your business to perfection so don't go out there trying to reinvent the wheel join the own your life campaign and we will walk you through our system and this campaign will ensure that you become massively successful in our business key into the project of the group avoid time wasters you will meet a whole lot of time wasters in our business people who continue to push you here push you there tell you they're going to join your business and you never see them right time wasters abound everywhere in our business you must be able to identify them and you must be able to do away with them if you keep on chasing time wasters you will get yourself tired out and you will not have a business you keep telling yourself somebody promised me he's going to join the business and he's not joining this person promised me he's going to join and he's not joining so many of them are time wasters are you with me a good prospect is somebody that's able to give you a defined time he's going to join your business it doesn't really matter if he joins that time or not but at least he's able to give you a defined time anybody who refuses to give you a defined time is not a good prospect you need to leave that person you need to leave that person who decides to waste your time right so if somebody gives you a defined time write out that time it doesn't matter if that person joins at that point in time or not it really doesn't matter but what matters is that that person is still in your prospecting funnel but if the person refuses to give you any defined time remove that person from your prospecting funnel and forget about the person if somebody is critical about your business about our business critical about the network marketing industry always finding something wrong with what you say it will do you a world of good to simply leave that person alone don't force people into the business don't choke down network marketing down don't force down network marketing down their truth some people are not designed for success some people are not designed for success through this pathway so respect that and let people alone who are not interested in running the business use a compelling opening presentation when you want to talk to people use a compelling opening presentation a boring headline means a boring presentation the beauty with which you start your presentation is the beauty with which you're going to finish the presentation a beautiful start is going to ensure a beautiful finish so go back down and script down something amazing that you're going to use in building an amazing business right we have compelling presentation openings in our team you can meet your mastermind uplines and they will help you design a compelling opening presentation that will help you um, run an amazing business i like using something that's i like using something that sounds like this right after i've done a little dream building i start by telling people the system i'm about to show you is something you can do part-time with whatever you're currently doing part-time not full-time the system demands only seven to ten hours of your time every week you are already putting seven to seven to, i mean eight hours of your time every single day the system demands your seven to ten hours of your time every week and the system is a two to four years plan to complete financial freedom as opposed to 45 years plan which most people are running in a job that leads to poverty the system comes to take great tax benefits lots of travel opportunities in our system you become successful by helping others attain success and the most beautiful part of our system is that it comes with unlimited income potentials an opening like this can grasp anybody's attention so design a compelling opening presentation however you want it to be something catchy that will make people sit down and take a look at exactly what you are showing them remember your team give value to your team members and you will gain value as well remember this is a team this is a team game if you're not giving value to your team you will not have a team ensure that on your whatsapp chat group you continue to paste quality contents motivating content content that will inspire people to greatness when you meet up with your team members let the words that come out of your mouth be compelling motivating words words that will help team members to do to, to 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 follow you and fly to the sun right words that are very very pushy let your dream be very bold and big 
let your vision be very clear to you when your team members see you let them see a leader let them see somebody who is ready to hold them and work with them let them see somebody motivated if you are not motivated you cannot motivate your team remember your team work with your team they need your help they need your guardians we're not saying you should fall into the management trap the management trap you read it in the um, in your first year in network marketing is a situation where you abandon the business you are supposed to be doing and you try to do the business for your team do not work for your team do not work for your team work with your team and not for your team right work with your members work with people who are ready to work and don't do the work for them if you do the work for them you pressure yourself let's say you sign up two people right you personally sponsor two people you can work with the two if your two now sponsor two if you sponsor two under your two you now begin to work with four plus your two six right that begins to become a very difficult job by the time it gets to 10 15 people it becomes practically impossible for you to work for them so all we're telling you is this work with them as you're working teach them how it's been done take your team along take them to presentations enable them, i mean allow them run presentations with you they can start by introducing you in the business and before you know what is happening over time your team becomes very very good and you now have a team of people who are actually running the business look good feel good smell good everyone wants to sit down with somebody that looks good somebody that feels good with a good mindset that's able to radiate i mean a lot of um, brilliance that's able to to affect people positively somebody that smells good there's no need sitting down and talking to somebody and the person is running away because you have a body odor or you have a mouth odor right use roll on use deodorants use perfume look good press your clothes it doesn't always have to take new clothes all it takes is better grooming right by the time you look good you feel good and you smell good people will feel comfortable sitting with you and you, you will also feel comfortable and confident enough to talk to anybody and show them the business if you are wearing a shoe ensure that shoe is polished that shoe is clean ensure your belt is nice ensure your clothes are starched and iron ensure you look nice at all points in time you are talking about the business if you are not dressing well at any point in time do not talk about our business at that point in time because you will not be giving a good impression of our business our business is a show business you must live up to those standards you must be a showman to be able to enjoy to be able to become successful in our business dress well feel good smell good remember cowards never start the weak never finish winners never quit the only time you become you become a failure in our business is when you quit so my advice for you in this business is what never ever quit it doesn't matter when you quit whether you quit in two days in two minutes or in 20 years the result is completely the same you've quit and you have lost winners never quit ensure that you run this business consistently and within a period of two years to four years you would have built a money machine that will continue to pay you money a lot of money in this business for the rest of your life this is an amazing business and i challenge you to take a look at this business from the point of view of somebody who is seriously run running the business treat this business like a job and this business will pay you massively if you treat this business with the glove of an md ceo you wake up by 10 o'clock in the morning you talk about your business for five minutes in the day just because you feel you're running your own business you will fail in the business if you treat this business like a job for two years to four years the kind of cash flow you're going to make in this business is going to be really really amazing remember the difference between the extraordinary person and the ordinary person is the little extra that little extra needs to be repeated day in day out day in day out and you produce an amazing business so this concludes our initial planning orientation the orientation that teaches you the basic mindset you need for success in our business keep the odds we've told you in mind this will help you grow an amazing business remember remember never ever quit the next video you're going to be watching is how to do the business that video will teach you the steps and the scripts we use in running this business in the simplest form possible do not complicate the process repeat the process as simple as we give it to you and you will build an amazing business
welcome to our standard method of operation as the name goes these are the standards we uphold in our team to enable us create an amazing and fantastic business um, if you want to run your business successfully you must stick to everything that you hear in the standard method of operation do not try to do things your own way if you do things your own way we cannot guarantee your results but if you follow the simple systems and the standards we've laid out here in the standard methods of operation you will create something very fantastic and amazing and build the most powerful business the standard method of operation is basically uh, made up of two components we have the smo checklist and the 444 worksheets right these are the two components that make up this powerful system we call our standard methods of operation and i'm going to take time first of all to explain the mindset behind these things and then i'll tell you why we do them and what they look like so you understand this clearly and you're also able to teach it in your team if you are able to understand fully what we tell you in the standard method of operation you do the activities and you teach your team what it is and teach them how to teach the activities you create a duplicating business that will continue to explode this is the basis of our success and if you do this if you take notes understand why we do what we do you will create the most formidable business for yourself now let us start by taking a look, a look at what we call the 444 system what is the 444 system what does the 444 in the 444 system really mean right it means teach four teammates to develop four connectors in four weeks right teach four teammates to develop four connectors in four weeks now the big question you need to ask yourself is who is a connector right who is a connector when you understand who a connector is then you understand why we do what we do to create the results that we are trying to create for you in this most powerful business so who is a connector a connector is someone in the business who has satisfactorily completed the smo checklist under the supervision of an effective leader i take that again a connector is someone who has satisfactorily the word there satisfactorily completed the smo checklist under the supervision of an effective leader not just somebody who did the smo checklist in his home not just somebody who did it to his own satisfaction and not just someone who did it to the satisfaction of just anybody but you must have done the smo checklist to the satisfaction of a leader and not just any leader an effective leader in your organization that is the top leader in your organization must satisfy must, must say that yes you have truly completed the um, smo checklist right and then you qualify to become a connector in our team the smo checklist we're going to be discussing it subsequently soon it tells you what you need to do and the rest of them in the team right so stand by you understand that soon but for now just be satisfied with who a connector is someone who has satisfactorily completed the smo checklist under the supervision of an effective leader now let us first take a look at the mindset behind the 444 system um the reason why so many people fail in network marketing is because they just double into it they double in they double out they double in they double out and they don't create any form of success when you understand the mindset behind what we do then you understand you will no longer find it um, um something um, of a problem to do the very simple activities we do because you now have a firm grasp of the thinking pattern that drives the business if you don't understand the thinking pattern that drives this business you cannot create any form of success in the business so we love to tell you that success in this business starts from the mind first before it goes into the pocket i take that again success in our business starts from the mind first before it goes into the pocket right so if you get the mentality right you will get the business right ultimately so what is the mindset behind the 444 system number one the 444 system simplifies your business when people look at our business they see it as this peculiar task that is not possible for them to surmount they see that it is something that they are going to keep on doing that doesn't seem to have an end you know it's just this deep void they have dropped into no 
the SMO the 444 system breaks it down into manageable and measurable units right that is what it does for your business that is what the 444 system does for your business it gives you an immediate overview of the health of your business so once you take a look at the 444 worksheet what you see in front of you is the health of your business on a sheet of paper right and we're going to be explaining to you how that looks like the smo checklist allows you to track the status of 20 connectors in your group from a single page that's so, that's so amazing so i don't need to track my whole team all i need to track is the progress of 20 connectors and those 20 connectors track the product of progress of 20 connectors and those 20 connectors track the progress of 20 connectors and guess what the progress of thousands of people in my team is being tracked all through the 444 system right the 444 worksheet so that is one of the things it does for us the 444 system gives you a target to work towards right so what you need to do is to is to ensure that you um get your 444 worksheet done and dusted and your team members all get their 444 worksheet done and dusted but when they are not aware that there's such a thing for them to do guess what the business becomes so open-ended for them and they don't seem to have an end it doesn't seem to have an end but once there is a target for them to hit they work to hit that target within a period of time you build a team of people who understand what needs to be done and create a success that they are looking for by doing that the 444 system gives your business cycle a closure a closure so your business is, a, is something that you can start and end start and end and you can create multiple business cycles for yourself start multiple business cycles close them down start them close them down and by the time you, you give yourself a target okay for the month of january i want to exhaust one 444 worksheet in the month of january what do you do you begin the activity to work and exhaust one 444 worksheet in the month of january when you are done that is closed you know you have succeeded in closing this in the month of january so what do you do in the month of february or in the month of march you can choose whatever month and you open up another 444 worksheet and you close it again so it allows you to start multiple cycles get them done and close them the 444 worksheet allows you to ascertain the exact weak points in your business and work on them. And that's just, that's so effective because if you can see the entire structure of your business on a sheet of paper, you can determine the strong points and you can determine the weak points and you can now work on those weak points to solve whatever problems you have on that particular part of your business right so you can exactly pinpoint where there is a challenge in your business and work on it that is what the 444 worksheet allows you to do these are some of the mindset behind it and when tied to our smo our standard method of operation checklist it becomes an explosive tool a formidable tool that can make you a millionaire within six months and keep you a millionaire in this business forever that is what the 444 worksheet offers you so if you are going to run the system in our business group you must run this business using the 444 worksheet to create a very powerful system for yourself and the result that you have dreamt of right because this is the most ingenious one of the most ingenious things that we have brought up in the system in this in the in the in the team that can help you build the most formidable business for yourself now on your screen is the 444 worksheet how do you use the 444 worksheets now like we told you this worksheet is used to track the progress of 20 serious minded people in your business 20 connectors in your business right now how do we use this 444 worksheet when you sign up into the business we said you must become a connector before you get into the 444 worksheet so let's say you have the, you sign up into the business you obtain your own 444 worksheet and you put your name up there name of connector your name is up here right and then under it you have primary four connectors primary four connectors as you begin to run the smo checklist to the satisfaction of your leader as you run the smo checklist you can get people who will sign up into your business now that someone has signed up into your business does not mean the person can become a name in your 444 worksheet no nobody becomes a name in your 444 worksheet until that person has become a connector that means that person must have successfully run the smo checklist under the supervision of an effective leader right so once that person is done with the with the smo checklist completely taking about five weeks thereabout, about and the person is done the person's name enters here under 
name of the, of the under four primary primary four connectors the first name will be the name of the person who has completed his 444 worksheet in your team his phone number and the date he completed it will be there if a second person completes the same for um, smo checklist his name comes on number two his phone number and the date he connected he completed it and do the same for the third and the fourth person now you might sign up 10 people before you have four of them who will completely complete all those info, inf information um complete the smo checklist and their names now drop into your 444 worksheet the remaining six of them even though they sign up into the business will not be part of your 44 worksheet because this worksheet is only meant to track connectors and these connectors are people who have completed their smo checklist their names will be there their phone numbers will be there the day they connected will be there now when you connect somebody who has done his own um smo checklist to to start to satisfaction and his name drops into your um page let's assume his name is musa and musa is number one on your sheets right now under here you will see secondary four connectors name of primary connector one so your primary connector one is musa who is on number one so name of primary connector one musa's name comes in here and his surname now under it we have secondary four connectors right one two three four these are the names of the four primary connectors of musa so musa will have his own smo checklist his four primary connectors in his smo checklist will be the secondary primary connectors number one on your own smo checklist if on number two you have um let's say um cynthia on number two and cynthia is done with her smo checklist right and is now a name in your 444 worksheet cynthia's name is on number two here primary connector two but on that name of primary connector two here down here you have cynthia's name again under the secondary four connectors right now cynthia's primary four connectors their names will be under here as your secondary four connectors number two and we'll do the same for number three and number four when we are done with that you will have the names of four secondary connectors in your team and four so you have the names of four primary connectors and their own four secondary connectors right so by looking at this you now have a situation where you are seeing the activities of 20 serious people in your team and our team is built up around the smo checklist as you will be hearing about later on right and because these are people who are running the smo checklist these are people who are producing the results so what if i look at my 44 worksheet right now and i see that um under name of primary connector two number three is empty nobody on number three what do i do i look at primary connector three the name of the of primary connector two right that is cynthia i look at cynthia on number two i pick cynthia's phone number from here and i call cynthia and when i call her i'm asking her now you have number one number two but number three is empty what is happening why is there nobody occupying number three right so what do i do i tell her okay you know what let's do some big announcement calls let's do some third party calls let's do some um um, um whatever the calls we need to do let's do something let's do a, a couple of stuff and get people put them through the smo checklist so that we can fill up number three so you can see that by simply using my smo checklist i am able to work with cynthia to be able to fill her own by simply using my four, four worksheet sorry i'm able to work with cynthia track her down track her business and ensure everybody here is doing so well if you have four people in your business doing very very well four people in your business doing very very well matching you two times right each pair of people who match you in this team have the potential of giving you 8.4 million naira that means four of them right will cost you two matching pairs doing very well in your team that means you are making over 16 million naira monthly in your business this is not small money by any standard that is over 200 million naira in a year not small money by any standard this is one of the reasons why you need to pay attention to the 444 worksheet because if you do this you can develop strong legs strong legs right 
four strong legs that pays you crazy cash flow in your business. Now, what if you're able to recruit a fifth person? A fifth person, right? And that fifth person you recruited has completed his SMO checklist. What do you do? You already filled the fourth one, the four, the four, four, four. So you've already filled your four, four, four sheets, right? Your primary four connectors are filled. What do you do with the fifth person? You open another worksheet and begin the cycle afresh on the second worksheet. The moment you open a new worksheet, you must close the worksheet. You don't open a worksheet and leave it open on one person. You must ensure that you close it completely. It is to the health of your business. If you decide to follow this very simple system and run it, the 444 worksheet is an amazing tracking tool that allows you to see the activities of serious minded people in your business and help you build this most amazing business. So, what does it mean to run the 444 system what does that mean when somebody tells you um i am running the 444 system what does that actually mean when it comes to our business um it means that you must understand you must attend and understand the ipo the ipo is the initial planning orientation this is where we launch your business tell you all you need to know about the business right and um if you are watching this video right now probably you are watching this during the ipo so you must understand the IPO, you must attend the IPO, you must understand the SMO checklist, the mindset behind the SMO checklist, as we'll be explained to you shortly, right? You understand the mindset so as to implement it effectively. You must not just understand it, you must commit to implementing the SMO checklist. You must commit to it. You need to consider the SMO checklist to be something you hold sacrosanct, right? Something you 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 can you you don't change for any reason, because this SMO checklist has really created um, multi-millionaires in our business, and just like it did in our business, it also has the potential to make you super successful in the business too. So you must commit to implementing it without changing the content of the SMO checklist. Yes, we know you're a doctorate degree holder. Yes, we know how smart you are. We know you have been so productive wherever it is you are working, but in this system calm down calm yourself down humble yourself and learn because what you think you know outside of what we do here is not what we are doing here right so you allow us show you exactly how to do this system and running effectively using the smo checklist you must commit to promoting the smo checklist as a doctrine in your team it is not just about you using it it's not just about you implementing it and understanding it but you must also commit to understanding this doctrine and promoting this doctrine down your line down the chain in your business because if you are not doing this if you're not promoting the smo checklist and people don't know what needs to be done then this is what creates this the failure you, you you eventually experience in your team because your business is not duplicating so if today you are running this business and probably you're having a challenge it is because you are not promoting the doctrine of the smo checklist even if you implement the smo checklist and do it in isolation and your team don't know they need to do this and you don't implement it you don't implement it with your team you don't promote it in your team people in your team don't know the the, the essence of the smo checklist they don't understand the mindset behind the smo checklist you are still going to run a flawed business completely so right so you must understand you must commit to promoting the smo doctrine in your team let it be something that everybody is holding high let it be something that people frown at when they see that you are not someone in your team is not running this smo checklist i take my time to talk about this because you cannot overemphasize the importance of what i'm talking about the smo checklist is the, the commandment that drives our business it's a 10 commandment of our business so if you decide not to run the smo checklist right or not to preach the doctrine of the smo checklist in your team you are building your team on a flawed foundation and in fact you're not building a team right because it's as if you are building a house of cards and everything eventually collapses you must complete com commit to the champions duplication model right we have a duplication model as contained in our training the champions duplication system right you must com commit to implementing our duplication model when you follow this simple duplication model in our team and in the various teams in c21fg our mother our mother um, business group guess what you are going to create something very fantastic trust me these duplication models have been known to work it's been tested it's been proven right we have a combined uh, um, experience of over 50 years 
when you put the experience of the masterminds into the in, 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 into consideration the combined experience of the mastermind we have over 50 to 75 years of experience being brought together to create this duplicating system so why do you want to waste your time going to create another one for yourself when you don't have the experience you've not built the kind of success we have built then you want to go re begin to um, reinvent the wheel why not run with what you have? We tell you that in our business, the best copycat wins. But you must copy the right cat. And what we are showing you has been done by the best cats in the industry. So why don't you just copy it and create a very fantastic result for yourself? You must commit to your monthly account maintenance by purchasing at least two CT47 every month, right? That is 0 0.333 points, about 0 0.4 points. But in our team, we show, we teach you how to run your business using two CT47, right? So you buy two CT47 every month, you promote the use of two CT47 in the month, use the amazing supplements and build something very fantastic for yourself. It is the cheapest way to maintain your account. That's why we call it um, two CT47, right? It's, um, um, they, they, when you look at our duplicative model, you understand why we said that because CT47 has a rounded um, um, commissioner point, uh, positional point of 0 0.2. You get to understand this more when you listen to squeezing the money juice out of the compensation plan. But for now, you must commit to maintaining your account every month by purchasing two C247 every month. And you must understand the compensation plan of empowered consumerism. If you want to say you're running the 404 system, it means you must understand the empowered consumerism compensation plan, right? M Global is also called empowered consumerism. So you must understand the compensation plan, how the company pays us, understand it clearly so that you can build an amazing business using the 444 system. And for you to understand that, you also want to watch our video squeezing the money juice out of the compensation plan. It talks to you about the compensation plan, shows you everything about it so you can learn it, understand it, and be able to deploy the 444 system for yourself. So this is what it means when we tell you that you are running the 444 system. It is all about the commitment you put in the system. Now let's take a look at the 444 fast track system. Now it is possible that somebody joins the business and decide to run the business the slow way, the slow business plan, as we showed you during the um, showed you when we showed you the presentation. But you might want to run this business faster, create more results for yourself, and create something very fantastic for yourself. So instead of building in steps of two, you might consider building in steps of four. This is called the four 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 fast track system and when you are running the 444 system you are running it on the fast track system and you can create something very amazing for yourself now pay attention if you are running the single profit center it costs you 44,888 naira to start the business that is 44,888 you get your starter kit a right starter kit a fast track system that's what i'm going to show you now now i'm going to show you a six months plan if you are running the fast track system if you run the SMO checklist and the 444 worksheet, right, in your first month, we are confident that you can key in four people into your team if you are doing the 444 system using the SMO checklist. You can actually put in four people in your team doing exactly what you are doing. When you put four people into your team in month one, you will earn 14,000 Naira, 14,000 Naira as your matching bonus from the four of them put together. Now, in month two, we will work with your four to each connect four people. And for you up there, your matching bonus for month two would be 56,000 Naira. In month three, we work with your four to each connect four. Now you have 16 people on level three. Your matching bonus on level three from the activities on level three will be 224,000 Naira. In month four, we work with the with each of the 16 people on your level three we have um, 64 times four on your level four so we work with each of the 64 people on your level people that um, constitute um, your level four your matching bonus for level four is going to be 896,000 naira now you're running just one account 896,000 naira now in month five we work with each of those people on level five right we work with them and at that level we have about um 1024 people in your team put together 256 times 4 we work with all of them your matching bonus for that month is going to be 3.5 million naira it's becoming so crazy this is a six months plan from one account and in month six when we work with those people in your team you have about four 
thousand and nine six people right now in your team we work with them to key in four 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 guess what happens you have about 14 million naira paid to you this is crazy cash flow now some people can say um this is not possible that is too ideal right that there are no ideal situations guess what this is a business that compounds you can actually have it grow much more than this but let us assume that they are right that it doesn't work that way so the total income you would have made from month one to six is about 19 million 110 thousand naira if we put everything that you earn from month one to six 19 million 110 thousand naira now let us assume it didn't work the way you planned it right let us assume you are only 50 percent successful 50% successful. That means you made about 9.5 million naira in all in six months. Is that good cash flow? So amazing, right? But what if you just made only 20% success rate? At 20% success rate, you made about 3.8 million naira. At 10% success rate, about 1.9 million naira in six months. Cash flow advantage you have over people who are not in your business. Guess what? This is an amazing reason why you need to sign up and run the business with the fast track 444 system. It allows you to build your cash flow very, very fast, right? And for you to do the fast track system, it's very, very simple. All you need to do, instead of running your SMO checklist in four, five weeks, you can actually run your SMO checklist in one week. You can run it in one week. Run it in one week. You create momentum in your team. People come into your team. Those who are running it in one week are creating momentum in their team. And you can create something very huge, very fantastic over a very short period of time. Right? Now, let me show you the 444 fast track system for the higher kids. Now, when we look at the starter kit B fast track system, you started with 134664, right? 134664, giving you three profit centers, right? And when we look at that on the first level, if under each of those your accounts, we key in four people and run the 444 system on those account using the fast track system, in month one, you will be going home with 42,000 naira. In month two, 168,000 naira. In month three, 672,000 naira. In month four, 26.6 million naira. In month five, 10.7 million naira. In month six, 43 million naira. In total, you would have done 57.3 million naira. At 50% success rate, you have done 28.6 million naira. And at 20% success rate, that is 11.4 million naira. This is crazy. At 10% success rate, it is 5.7 million naira. This is the money that you have made following the 444 system for the starter kit B. You decided to run the system very, very wide, very, very powerful, very, very hard right at just 20 percent you ended up 11.6.4 million naira in six months that sounds like very good cash flow to me amazingly good almost two million naira a month you are making from this system so you see what we do here is no joke at all if you sign up into the system you go sleep you are sleeping on your own but guess what that you are not taking this business serious does not mean others are not taking the business serious people are going to run this and even if they are producing at 10 15 20 30 percent they're going to produce extra cash flow that you don't get because you did not take your business serious let's still go higher and see what the higher kids have to offer us for the platinum kit a now you are joining the league of the big boys right look at the 444 fast track system for the platinum kit a 314,266 16 naira is what it costs you to get seven profit centers in this business and when we do that with you and work the fast track system with your seven account and on level one now i don't want you to consider the the numbers written there the, the number of people written down there is only accurate at level one at um the first level right we don't want to start gathering all those numbers and putting them there but you need to understand that we have done this competition and we know what you can get when you run this system exactly how we show you following this fast track system so in month one for the seven um profit centers that is a 314,216 naira package the platinum kit a you make 98,000 naira when we connect your bottom account and start building in steps of four in month two those bottom ones we work with them you're going to do 392,000 naira in month three 1.5 million naira in month four 6.2 million naira in month five 25 million naira in month six 100.3 million naira in total you will have done 133.7 million naira at 50 percent success rate 66.8 million naira at 20 percent success rate 226 million naira at 10 percent success rate 
2.6 million naira. Now I know some of you are pausing this, carrying your calculators, you want to start calculating to see if the figures are true. While you are wasting time trying to compute to see if it's true, others are succeeding at just 1%. Go and do the activity and stop the calculations. It's not the calculations you need to verify if the answer is right or not. What you need to do is to do the activities and go cash your money at the bank. This is what you need to do, right? And let's look at the final kit. That is the Platinum Kit B. The Platinum Kit B fast track system, right? You start with 673.320, gives you 15 profit centers, right? And let's look at how it works. When we blow, work the Platinum Kit B with you on the fast track plan, in month one, you smile home with 210,000 Naira. In month two, 840,000 Naira. In month three, 3.3 3 million Naira. In month four, 13 million Naira. In month five, 53 million Naira. In month six, 215 million Naira. When we calculate all you've done in, in six months, it is 286.6 million Naira in six months. That's crazy cash flow. At 50% success rate, that is 43.3 .3 million Naira. At 20% success rate, sorry, at 50% success rate, it is 143.3 .3 million Naira. And at 20% success rate, it is 57.3 million Naira. At 1% success rate, one percent sorry at 10 percent success rate it is 5.7 uh, sorry is this 2.8 million naira this is huge very big cash flow that you can get for yourself right so i want you guys to ensure that you follow the system we show you and you are going to create such an amazing result for yourself don't be too quick to draw conclusions and explain away what you don't understand let us show you how this is going to be done and even if you are succeeding at one percent two percent three percent you too can build something very fantastic and very amazing for yourself
to understand the SMO checklist, you need to understand um, who know who a connector is. And like I said initially, a connector is someone who has satisfactorily completed the SMO checklist under the supervision of an effective leader. So it is not just in completing it, but in completing it under the supervision of a leader who ensures that what you do in the SMO checklist is right. You do it the right way. You do it with the right mindset to create the right results. So for you to understand and know what the SMO checklist is all about and create the results you are looking for, you need to first of all get the mindset behind the SMO checklist in the first place. So what is the mindset behind the SMO checklist? Now, the mentality behind it is so important, right? Because when you get that, the activity itself will not be of much, much challenge to you. The reason why people fail is because they don't get the mindset behind what they do. And when they are told to do it, they really think it's something that they can do without. And by thinking they can do without it, they don't create the results they are meant to get. So what is the mindset behind the SMO checklist? Why is this so important that you need to understand why with what the SMO checklist is why the SMO checklist is so important the SMO checklist tells you what to do the SMO checklist checklist tells you how to do it the SMO checklist tells you the quantities you need to do and the SMO checklist tells you the duration to do those quantities to trigger success in your business now let us assume you want to develop six packs and you go see a gym instructor um and you ask him to teach you or rather help you to develop six packs the gym instructor tells you what to do the gym instructor tells you how to do it the gym instructor tells you the quantities to do right so he tells you for you to develop six packs you need to do exercises not just doing exercises you need to do sit-ups Press up, you need to do push ups, 50 push ups, right? 50 and not press ups, sit up, press up, and push up randomly. Now you have the quantities to do, right? So you say, okay, now I have it. So you do 50 push ups today, 50 sit ups today, and 50 um, press ups or whatever it is. Now, what do you have for yourself? You have done that once push ups, sit ups, or whatever thing he has asked you to do. You did it once. Do you get your six packs by doing it once? The answer is no. So you got the first three. You know what to do. You know how to do it. You know the quantities to do. But guess what? Something is missing. Right? And that is what has happened to many people when they run the SMO checklist. We run our business. They know what to do. And they do that activity the correct way once and stop. And they expect magical success overnight. And typically it doesn't work like that. That brings us to the last thing that the SMO checklist does for you. The SMO checklist tells you the duration to run those quantities to trigger success. The duration. Because if you intend getting your six packs, you do your sit-ups, press-ups, you're, you're running on the treadmill or whatever it is, you do it in the, 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 uh, the, the required quantity once, you don't get the result. But when you do it over a period of six months, for a period of time, then you will see the compounding effect of your activities and everything begins to show on you. And that is what the SMO checklist brings to you. It tells you lastly, the duration to run those quantities to trigger, the word there is trigger, to activate success in your business. So you want to run your business successfully, we tell you what to do, how to do it, the quantities you need to do, and the duration to run those quantities to trigger success. That is what the SMO checklist tells you. That is the mentality behind the SMO checklist. And that is the only reason why you can build a formidable business, a duplicating business, a business that will massively pay you. This is why we tell you that the SMO checklist is the foundation of our business. And no matter what happens, we don't reduce the, the, the standard at all. If you want to fail in this business, what you need to do is to raise the, re reduce the standard for yourself. Don't lower the standard. You know why? Success will never lower its standards to accommodate you. You must raise your standard to attain success. It is only at that point that you can begin to produce for yourself. So if you are told to make something, a certain number of calls, do the number of calls you are told to do. Do not reduce it because you are building yourself. And whatever you build is what you will sell to your team, is what they will copy. Our business is a copying business, right? And the best copycat wins. So what kind of cat are you that you want your team to copy? Are you a good cat to be copied or are you just a...
mediocre minded cat right or are you just someone who i mean is really not worthy of being emulated in any way so when you follow the smo checklist you create an amazing success for yourself right and on in front of you now is the smo checklist this is a sample of our standard method of operation checklist right and um this is typically the structure in the team with a couple of differences in number of places right um from time to time the, the content might change but guess what the idea behind it is still the same right the idea behind it is still the same and when you follow the smo checklist being promoted in your group you will create something very amazing amazing for yourself so you can see your name is usually up here your phone number is here your reservation code is here for, for us to track you use the reservation code to track you the activities you do every in, in the week is here then after each activity it is signed for you after the next activity it is signed for you then week one activity is here week two week three week four week five activities here and at the end of it you have the signature and dates the signature of your team leader name of your team leader very very important this is the effective leader that ensures that you did the activities the right way if you don't do the activities the right way you won't create the results that you are looking for now these are the activities that you will be doing in the business right in week one the activity you do, you do in week one is what we are showing you here now um this answers the question what next lots of people sign up into the business and they're asking us what next what are the next things i need to do in the business right so this is what we tend to answer with the smo checklist so in week one the first activity that you will be doing is to attend the question and answer session right Our question and answer session in this team is done in, conjun in conjunction with the QSG, the Quick Start Guide, the Quick Start Guide, right? So when we say question and answer session or Quick Start Guide in this training, we are using them interchangeably, right? But the actual word there is a Quick Start Guide. So you attend the Quick Start Guide. In during the Quick Start Guide, we we'll also have questions which will be asked and answered, right? So this is one of the first things you do in this team. And um, after that, I'm sure by now you should have attended the question and answer session if you are going through this because this is the IP it means you've seen the question and answer session orientation then, after your the first question and initial session, planning you will attend orientation the first, your first which is what you're going through planning. right now this tells you um what our business is all about how you can run the business gives you the system the tools you use for your business and tells you how to do what we do right so this ipo is sufficient enough to make you successful in the business so what if you want to if you are going through this program right now you need to pay attention you need to take notes because all the information you get here right now is sufficient enough for you to become a seven figure earner in our business after the ipo if you are not building your business over the next couple of months if you are not successful in this business you are to blame yourself do not blame your upline do not blame your downline do not blame your team blame yourself because this training gives you everything you need to succeed right so the second question is will you do what is contained in the training or would you do what you want to do for yourself by yourself would you do it how you are told to do it or would you just do whatever it is that you feel like doing very big question right you need to ask yourself so if you do exactly what we tell you to do you can create an amazing business for yourself now you will make a name list of 150 people from your phone alphabetically right from your phone contact alphabetically now how do you do that you open up your phone you start from letter a and get to letter z do not jump anybody do not prejudge anybody write everybody that knows you write everybody that you know write everybody that will remember you when you introduce yourself to them what that means is this if you have come in contact with somebody his name goes into your phone into your name list if somebody has spoken to you one way or another and you have his contact his name goes into your phone list the plan in this team is to help you build from the warm market deep right you build deep into the warm market so the warm market are the people you know so we start from people you know and get to people they know and get to people those ones know and before you know what's happening we've gone deep by connecting the warm market it is much easier to build the warm market than to build the cold market the cold market are people you don't know 
right but the warm market are the people you know and these are the group of people that we start the business with because these are the people that know us right and we can actually contact them if we shouldn't be meeting and they decide they don't want to sign up into the business today we have a way of contacting them but if somebody in the cold market decides he doesn't want to answer your call anymore then that becomes a problem right so you we want you to be able to um come into um the business and run the business effectively that's why we say make a name list the bigger the name list the better for you right so make a name list of 150 people from your phone don't tell yourself you don't know anybody don't tell yourself you're just you just you even even if you're just dropped from planet earth, from planet mars to planet earth if you look critically you can make a name list of 150 people so write them don't prejudge anybody don't say this man is too fat this man is too thin this man is too tall right no you don't know who is going to sign up into this business those you think will sign up will not sign up those you think will not sign up will sign up right so everybody is going to surprise you one way or another just write all their names down and give everybody a, a, a an opportunity to tell you that they are not interested in running the business show it to them some will join some will not join so what someone else is waiting somewhere right so you don't need everybody joining your business to become successful what you need to do is to work the numbers and let us work these 150 people talk to them show them the system some of them will sign up some of them will not sign up no big deal at all we are going to build something very fantastic so how do you do the name list you're going to write their names on your rule your sheets right you have a column for names you have a column for their phone number you have a column for the relationship you have with them on that relationship you want to write it probably want to describe it properly if the person is your schoolmate in primary school you want to write my schoolmate in primary school right you don't just want to write friend because when i look there i'm making a course and i say okay do you know john john is your friend and now this guy has about 40 john in his life so he's beginning to think who is the particular john i'm talking about so you want to describe it john worked with me in zenith bank john my classmate in secondary school john we swam together in in what swimming pool whatever it is you wanted you want to say give it a descriptive um um write it in a descriptive way so that someone can see it and be able to use that to remember who you are when they are called right so write their names write your phone numbers write your relationship with them write their status the status is man man means man m stands for money it means the man has up to forty four thousand eight hundred eighty eight naira to start up this business a stands for authority it means the man has authority over people he could be a pastor and a mom he could be somebody a head of the head of department or something like that someone that can say gather here and everybody will gather right and then the last one is n n means need need it means the person has need for money because he is broke or need for the health product for himself or for someone else right so you write it in that order m a n right so if this person is a rich person m if this person has a salary that can start the business m if this person has authority over people a if this guy is a broke guy n need right need for money but what if the guy is a rich pastor right he has authority and money right so his his, his uh, status becomes ma money and authority if the guy is a broke youth president he is broke but has um authority over his fellow broke youths his status becomes a n right so we want to start with the ma's then we want to talk to the m then we want to talk to the a n then the a's and then the n's so you need to write these things down you know why you need to do it because our business is a business and not a charity organization we are not here to help the poor by giving money to them we are here to help people get out of poverty right and the only way to get help them get out of poverty is by getting them to sign up into the business so we're interested in people who have the money to sign up into the business if you are looking for a cell a, a charity organization you can go to the united nations and let them link you to one of their their programs where they can help you if you're a charity case right but if you are looking to build a business this is where you are this is where you need to be so you are in this to build the business and not in this to help the poor by the way you cannot help the poor if you are poor you can only help the poor if you are rich and this business is meant to help you become rich right so write the names of everybody down and let us start with those who have the money to sign up so that you begin to see your money come in you begin to see your business function before you can now talk about assisting those who don't have the money at all right so having done that you need to understand our duplication model using the s the 444 worksheet so if you are watching this at this stage you would have understood the 444 worksheet 
because the 444 worksheet has already been explained right before you got to this level in um of the of the video so you really understand what it's all about if you don't understand this you need to go back and study what the 444 worksheet is all about so that you can get a firm grasp of that right these are things you need to understand in week one you need to get your tools the basic tools you need to run our business are your diary your hardcover notebook your success manual right these are the very basic tools you need your diary your hardcover notebook your success manual your smo checklist your 444 worksheet these are very very necessary for you when you are running this business why is it so it is so because without these tools you cannot run an effective business so the diary is very important how do you use the diary when you talk to someone about the business you show somebody the business the guy comes to, into your presentation and says i will join on the 5th of february what do you want to do you want to go into your diary and write it down there i called john 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 saw my presentation and said he would join on the 5th of february right now when you want to write his name you go to say john you write his phone number you write his reservation code you write his full name john this phone number reservation code why do you want to do that because john may not be your direct prospect john may be the prospect of your downline right and you don't want to sign him up under yourself when he's supposed to be under your downline so write the reservation code the reservation code tracks your downlines right it tracks the person so it tracks whoever owns the prospect you are you are talking to so you do that and the, on the on that particular day you write it and you now discuss what you had um, write what you discussed with john he said he will sign up on so and so day he wants to look for the money so you write that down and then you call him on that particular day every morning you open your diary and you treat the content of that day on your diary first before you go into the business of the day the idea is so that you don't forget so after treating that the content of the diary you now go into other things you need to do but the moment you make any of those calls from your diary make sure you strike out that name cancel it from that page so let's assume i call john on that day and john says okay i will sign up but i don't have the money now right i am traveling to go bury my great grandmother on my return i will sign up on the 5th of april you want to go to your diary on the 5th of april and you want to write on that day call john put his phone number and reservation code again he said he's traveling and he's going to bury his great grandmother right you want to write it down you want to empathize with him because when you are calling him on that day you want to remind him of that you want to empathize with him you don't just call him and say john come are you ready to pay now blah 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 no you want to start by asking him, john how are you doing how was the burial hope everything went well empathize with him because if you don't do that that is the last day john is going to talk with you believe me we've done that we've made the mistakes that's why we correct the mistakes for you now so write exactly what you have talked about especially those of us who are doing this full time you're going to be talking a lot to a large number of people what that means is you need to write these information down so that when you are following up on these people they you don't you you follow follow up on them with the correct information right so you need to have your tools your hardcover notebook that's why you're going to write the 50 name list your success manual will tell you will give you all the scripts you have in the team script for calling people in different scenarios those who want to pay now those who want to pay later and different scenarios all contained in our scripts you need to have this success manual so that you too can use it to um build your business right and then you need to read this is your um, first activity you'll be doing right your reading activity you need to read the introduction and chapter one of your first year in network marketing by mark yanel right your first year in network marketing is a book we read in the business that tells us about the business the first year of our business so you read the introduction of your first year in network marketing the introduction and chapter one of your first year in network marketing by mark yanel right and then in week one you will do your first 50 big announcement invitation calls your leader will listen to these calls through zoom or through conference what that means is this this is a system we use in inviting people into our business our friends we call it a big announcement right so you will do 50 big announcement calls we will give you the script to use we're going to show you how to use it and then you will do those calls but your leader will guide you in doing it he will either connect through a zoom meeting or connect to a conference call and watch you do a couple of them correct you then let you do the rest now pay, pay attention it is important you do this because you are developing yourself in the business if you don't do these activities you can create success in your business this is the week one it's not going to take you a lot to get this thing done in week one now remember this is week one the smo checklist is a five weeks activity five weeks do not conclude on week one do not say it is not working 
on week one. Do not say I've invited everybody in week one and nobody signed up because of that the business is not working. You are shooting your business in the leg. You have four weeks to go. Make sure that in each of these weeks, the activities are properly digested. If you don't digest the activities the right way, you will not create the right result. If we say make 50 calls, make 50 calls, not 49 calls. The effect of 50 calls is different from the effect of 40 calls, right? So you want to create success in the business, make the calls how we tell you to do them. Don't tell us that you've made all your calls when you've not made 50 calls. If you have not done 50 calls, you have not completed week one activity and you will remain on the week one chat group of our SMO checklist, right? Because we have the, you have, we move you from week to week to week depending on what you are doing. So on week one, you will do week one activity. If there is something you've not done on this particular day, on this particular week, guess what? You will not graduate to the next week. So we will leave you on this particular week, right? So if you are here on the, if you are, if you are on, in, on a particular week for more than two weeks, it shows that you are not really running the business very well and we will remove you from that group and put you into a group we call our chillers group where you will chill, relax, enjoy yourself. And at any point in time, you feel you want to start running the business again. You can let us know and we can pick you from there and work with you right from that group, right? And when you are done, we remove you from there and move you to the next group, right? So we want every one of you to become successful in this business so please pay attention to exactly what we are telling you to do week two what activities do you do in week two very simple in week two you will attend your second initial planning orientation you will attend your second question and answer session you will read chapter two and three of your first year in network marketing by Machianel. You will make your second 50 big announcement calls within a two hours period as agreed with your leader right your leader will listen to your calls through zoom or conferencing so it, typically the 50 calls take about two hours to get done right so you make the time out make the time don't tell us you don't have time most people have time for poverty but they don't have time to change their lives right so make the time so that we can work with you to get something amazing happening in your life let us make a second batch of 50 calls with you it takes us all the way to week three in week three you will read your the chapter four and five of your first year in network marketing by machianel you will attend your um third initial planning orientation and you will make your 50 base script or big announcement calls under the supervision of your leader what do we mean by this it means that in week three there is a different kind of calls that we are going to make we call it the base script calls right so you're going to make 50 of them for those of you who want to also um, mix them up with the big announcements, you can also mix them up if there are still more people you need to do with the big announcements, right? You mix it up. Now, your leader in week one and two may also get you to mix up a couple of these calls if need be. But this is the basics. But if there is need for you to mix it up, you will mix it up. But then the core of it is that you have to make 50 calls even if they are being mixed up, right? You have to make 50 calls in total in each of the three first three weeks now in week four you will attend your fourth initial planning orientation somebody say ah why will i attend it yes it is the same content you have to attend it four times there is no overdose in getting training right they say practice makes perfect that's what people say right but you see the more you practice something the better you get at it so if you want to become a master keep attending the initial planning orientation believe me and i'm still attending it because it still gives me um the kick i need to build this most amazing business you need to read chapter six and seven of your first year in network marketing by machianel read chapter six and seven right you need to your sponsor will now make 50 third party calls on your behalf using what you call the third party script so we are going to give you a message to send to people you know you send it to them and we will call them right your sponsor will call them and we will invite them using a third party script to take a look at our business the reason you send them the message is so that we are not looking like 419 when we are calling them so your sponsor will make that call on your behalf 50 people we will call them and invite them to take a look at our business right this is part of how we do the business then in week five this is your last week right you will learn how to generate unlimited leads using our name list generation system we have an amazing system through which you can help you generate name lists so for those of you who think you don't know anybody we have it covered we have you covered right we have a way of doing this there are different ways you can use to help you generate a name list and we'll teach you how that is done and then you will read chapter 
eight nine at the conclusion of your first year in network marketing right this is five weeks to read one book it's a quite a long time you should be able to get this done right and then you will do your home business launch we'll show you how to do your home business launch you will invite 10 people or less into your home they will sit down in your homes and then you will connect your laptop to your tv using a hdmi cable and we will now run a zoom meeting for you from wherever we are we're going to run your zoom meeting and connect your friends show them the business they are in your home seeing the business seeing the zoom meeting holding right now they cannot leave because they're not watching the zoom meeting on their phones they actually sit in your house and guess what there is no refreshment if you must which we don't recommend do refreshment it must be something very very cheap right very very cheap nothing going beyond not something going i mean just probably biscuits and soft drinks at maximum at maximum right because we don't want people coming after you've done a buffet um you've done buffet there's pounded down with bush meat jollof fries and the rest of them scattered all over the place and the man has finished eating and thinks okay it's so amazing i would love to do this business but i don't have, I don't have the money to do a buffet and because of that the guy wouldn't sign up no we don't want that we want to make the business as simple as possible right and of course you don't serve alcoholic alcoholic drinks there so that your friends don't come and get drunk and then they're asking you what is it all about in the long run so you want to keep your business meeting a business meeting make it as simple as possible if you have gotten your product packs you could serve them coffee you could serve them my choco with biscuits allowed do your home lunch your leader will guide you in doing that and you will learn social media prospecting in week five you will understand how to build your business using facebook instagram and other social media platforms available to you if you're not in week five you want to start going on facebook we won't even listen to you right so these are the activities that constitute the smo checklist remember the smo checklist tells you what to do how to do it the quantities you need to do and the duration you need to do those quantities to trigger success when you look at what we have told you to do it covers all these four platforms right we tell you exactly what to do how to do it the quantities to do and we tell you the duration to do them if you do this for five weeks do what we tell you to do for five weeks you will build a base on which your business is going to grow you will build the foundation on which your business is going to grow we are not telling you that in five weeks you start making a million naira we're not telling you that in five weeks you become financially free we're telling you that if you are consistent and you do the activities as we recommend it with the intensity we recommend you use in five weeks you will build the base the foundation on which your business is going to grow there is a story of the chinese bamboo you plant the chinese bamboo in the ground right and you water the chinese bamboo you water the chinese bamboo it doesn't grow it will remain in the ground for five whole years for five years the chinese bamboo will remain in the ground it will not germinate it will not grow until five years it sprouts out of the ground within the period of the chinese bamboo remaining in the ground was it growing the answer is yes it was actually growing inside the ground now when you are watering the empty field people were insulting your child in school telling them that that's the, the son of the, the man who is always watering that empty field after some time people will come and say hey yeah child this guy has finally gone mad right your wife will be a laughing stock in the market because people are looking at her that's the wife of that madman that's always watering an empty field your colleagues who planted corn have been harvesting their corn but your chinese bamboo remained in the ground for five years it was growing the foundation for five years that will support its massive growth sometime in the fifth year the chinese bamboo will sprout and once it sprouts the time it will take you to walk from your house to the field to look at the chinese bamboo it would have grown significantly you can literally see the chinese bamboo growing in front of you in two weeks it grows to a height of over 20 feet as you are harvesting it cutting and selling cutting and selling guess what it is still growing faster you start harvesting make money than the people who are busy selling corn beans and the rest of them because now you are producing in full the smo checklist is the five years your chinese the chinese bamboo remains in the ground that is the five weeks your business remains in the ground do the activities with us and after five weeks of running the activities with minimal efforts you will see yourself building a massive business do not drop this business do not lose consistency because you have done week one and two and nothing has happened run it for five full weeks and you will see the magic of our business now in conclusion
Loyalty into landmine number three, commitment. As I mentioned in landmine number two, the greatest benefits of this new venture are also the most sinister danger traps about this new venture. Here's the problem. It is too easy to get into this business. There's little sacrifice. There is little quote unquote skin in the game, as renowned investor Warren Buffett puts it. You don't have anything at stake. Although I would argue you have your entire future on the line, your future financial and emotional freedom, but that never seems to be enough for people. Your wallet has to be at stake to get people's attention. And therein lies the problem. It is way too cheap to get into this business. What's easy to get in is also easy to get out. That is why many times this business has an apparent revolving door. It isn't the business that's the problem. People are the problem, or more specifically, their lack of commitment is the problem. In most cases, this landmine is the only thing standing in the way of someone becoming successful. The business model is proven. It's already worked for thousands of others. The actual function of the business is ridiculously easy. It requires no prior education, experience, background, training, skills, or otherwise. All it really requires is commitment to see it through long enough for the business model to work and your efforts to accumulate long enough for the compound effect to ignite, which kickstarts the money machine. But still, few make the commitment to see it through, and that's all it takes. The best definition of commitment I ever heard was, commitment is doing the thing you said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you. I warn you, right now you might be fired up to do this business. Right now you might be saying you will never, never, never give up until you make it successful. But eventually this mood will wear off. You will go back to your regular life routine, mix with your same old family and peer group and be hit with the complexity of life's obligations. It will be then that your commitment will be tested. Your mood will be different, but your commitment to staying the course cannot be. Here is the best tip I could give you on this entire audio. Are you ready? Here comes. Whatever business you signed up for, be here a year from now. Did you catch that? I'm serious. It's that simple. Be here a year from now. And in the meantime, just do what we've discussed thus far. Follow the system. Use the tools, structure your working situation, and do the taught fundamentals over and over and over again during that first year. I can tell you with great conviction, if you just do that, stay for a year and perform the fundamentals consistently throughout that year, you will have success. No joke. That's it. If that's the only thing you take away from this audio, is to make a commitment and say, okay, I will do this for a year and I will follow the system and do the simple activities all year long, you will have gotten a million dollar tip. Please heed it. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank all of you who have been listening to us all through. I know we've taken typically longer than we normally would take but I believe you've gotten a lot of content from all we've said here today. I want to encourage you. What you have signed up for is the most beautiful business on earth. And I need you to understand that you are not alone in this ride. We are here to help you. Just like we work with some other people, we are here to help you. And remember we said we have three cardinal structure. Number one, commend your business to God. Number two, you must be willing to be trained. This is part of your willingness to be trained. Some people who are not willing to be trained left us, left the meeting. And number three, you must be willing to train others. If you follow through with what we are telling you, this year will be the beginning of the best years of your lives as together we work with you to build an amazing business. Do you know why? Because you are worthy of success. You are built for greatness. You are the next millionaire out there. If you believe that you are the next millionaire out there, I want to, even though I cannot see you right now, to touch your chest and to tell yourself, I am the next millionaire from this system. Touch yourself and tell yourself, I am the next millionaire from this system. Program your mind and tell yourself, I am the next millionaire from this system. 
If you are not telling yourself that, we cannot forget, we cannot force you, we cannot make you do that, right? But guess what? Yes, I saw some people who didn't tell themselves that, who didn't talk their chest, but it's not a big deal at all. But when we tell you to do an activity and you do those activities, guess what? You program your mind, you program your subconscious, and you set yourself up for great things. You are worthy of greatness, you are worthy of success. God bless you. What you need to do now, go see the person who invited you, tell him you finished the IPO, and then tell him you want to start the activities for your first week. Tell him you want to start the activities for your first week as contained in the SMO checklist. That is the next thing you need to do. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'll see you at the top.